How to use Bitrex24 for project management step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with project management on Bitrex24. Bitrex24 is an online platform that enables you to find a solution for your needs, whether those be for your hiring, project management, sales automation, building pipelines, and more. Now, to get started with Bitrex, you can get started for free simply by clicking on Start for Free on the top right. Once you click on Start for Free, you have a few different options to sign up. You can sign up with Facebook, Google, Apple, Microsoft, or Twitter, or sign up with your email address. So we're going to proceed with the sign up process over here and once you do that you will see your Betrix registration so you're going to click on register for free and then your account on Betrix24 will be created. Now Bitrix24 has multiple different solutions and you can see once you have created your account, it will open Bitrix24 for you, which is going to be your particular URL or your particular link to your dashboard. So once you do that, you will see your particular items that you can use. I am going to go directly for tasks and projects. You can go for CRM, collaboration sites as well. And I'll click on confirm over here. Once you do that, Bitrix will automatically Create your dashboard accordingly, so according to the preferred task that you might have. So on the top left, you can open up the control panel. And in this control panel, you have your collaborative features, CRM, inventory, marketing, sites, company automation, and more. And then you have your tasks and project section. Now you can click on the plus icon over here to directly create a task as a shortcut. And you can click on over here to hide this particular item or rearrange it. Now I have this task section and you also have a project section within it. Now, because you might want to, you know, segregate certain projects, you are going to go into the project section and you want to build a project first. So click on create over here. And once you do that, you have two options to create a work group or a project. Now I want to create a project, so I'll select project and then click on next. Once you click on next, you can add your project name. Let's say this is going to be website launch. And then after that, you can add a description, launching our first e-store like this. After that, we have a visual theme. So you can click on change theme over here to change the particular theme to the one that you want to use. There are a few different options. This just, you know, applies that general color scheme. So I just want something really simple. I'm going to go with this one over here and I can just click on this and then click on save to change. And then you have your project icon. So I'm going to go with this as my project icon and then click on next. Once you do that, you have the privacy of your workspace or project. This is going to be public where any employee can join and view the team details. You can also make it private when the board or the workspace will only have access for certain people by invitation, or you can make it hidden so it's only viewable by you. I'll make this a private board and then I have the members. Now, first off, it's me and then I can edit and add more people. Then you can add project moderators and employees as well. Once you have completed that, click on next. And now your particular project will be created. Now you guys can see if I close everything up, you have your basic tasks and project. And once you enter into tasks and project, you can click on project. And then this will display the project that you have. Now your project will open up and on the top right, you will see your information about the project as well as video conferencing options and chat options with your team. Now for our project, we can open this up like this and create a website as well. But for our particular needs, we are just looking for a basic project manager. Now within your project space or within your workspace, you have a simple task section where you can click on this arrow and this will show you the different statuses a task can be present in. So if you're assisting a task, if it's an ongoing task or if it has been set by you or you are following that task. You have a few different views as well, such as Kanban views, deadlines, planner, calendar, and Gantt views. Other than that, if you click on create, you can create a task using a template, or you can click on all templates over here to view some of the templates that are available, and you can use those pre-existing templates to make it easier for you to build tasks. Now, I'm going to open up my project space, go into list over here, and then I'm going to start adding certain tasks. So I'll just click on create and I can enter a task name. 
what this is going to be to add media items to website homepage like this and then you can add a description you can add instructions you can add you know multiple different informative bits of information in the description that need to be accessed by the person who views this task then you can also set it as a high priority from the top right below that you have the copilot options obviously the copilot is the ai tool that can help you in just making it easier to you know build your task descriptions elaborate your task build checklists and more now after that you have a file so let's say i have a reference of what media items that i'm supposed to add to my home page i can attach them all here or because i'm creating a task let's say someone else is supposed to do that so i'm going to assign this task to someone else so i want to let them have access to all the media files they're supposed to upload so i can link a dropbox file I can upload them directly over here and then you have the document information where you can create a document directly on Bitrex you also can mention code and provide a checklist so providing a checklist can help in breaking down a larger tasks into smaller bits so let's say I have a upload a header video add featured product images add customer images on reviews like this and then you can choose to be an observer or a participant in the checklist as well so if there is a super large task and there are multiple different people that are assigned to do different steps you can assign each individual separately on the checklist below that you have a responsible person or the person that is supposed to complete that task and you can add that person over here after that, you have the created by participants and observers. If a larger task has a hierarchy of multiple different people working, you can add other people as participants as well. Below that, you have the deadline option where you can open up the calendar and set a deadline for a task. You also have the time planning options, which can help you in setting a definite time for the task to be completed. After that, you have a task status summary. So if a task status summary will be required for this particular task. Once you have done that, you can click on add task on the bottom and the task will be added to your Bitrex 24 dashboard. Now, once you have added a task, let's say you're having certain progress in the task. I like to go ahead and view my progress in a Kanban board. So once I do that, let's say this is a new task. Now it's in progress. I've started it so I can move it in progress task section. Then I can move it to the finished task once I am finished. And if there are more statuses you want to add, such as if you get stuck on a task, I can add that. And if I get stuck on something, I can move it to the stuck column instead. And in this way, you can easily manage your projects on Bitrix. It's relatively simple and can be a great way for you to organize all of your information in one place. Plus, you also have a feed that can enable you to see all of the most recent conversations between your members, and you can see the tasks, polls, files, and more. And you also can link it to Drive to be able to upload all of the content of your project in one space and a calendar to view all of the progress that is being made, your particular goals and milestones you might want to achieve. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.